Welcome to Chill Guild Letting Fall. What? Even though we have an episode that we're discussing again, so is it because I was going to ask about Nigerian language? You know, mm-hmm. these days, mm-hmm. um, being able to speak a Nigerian language is like an advantage mm-hmm. for gossip. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. Like, uh, hey. So, are you guys making any plan on how? Yeah, so yeah, yeah, yeah. So um sometimes Ibro talks to him in house are just little little things like and I I've started talking to him in Igbo. Especially oh there's this day Kion got on my last nerve. Mm. And as as often happens. And his 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 nanny is like his best friend. So she yeah. had gone on her off this particular weekend <laughs> and Kion was now I had to stay with him and also this if afternoon when he was supposed to take his afternoon nap. Which he has cancelled, by the way. He doesn't do his naps anymore, except he's really exhausted. Yeah. And I'm okay with that, so that he can go to bed very early at 7 and sleeping. So, Kian, take your afternoon nap. And he's like, no, I want my tutu, I want my tutu. I said, which your tutu? Tutu is not a tutu has gone to work. He said, no, I want mama to go to work, bring tutu back. Indirectly telling me to go to work, so yeah. he wants his nanny back. Like, when he's upset with you, he'll tell you, I want you to go to work. Like, this guy, <laughs> go away. I don't see I don't right want now. to see your face. Go. <laughs> so he said that he wants that. And I'm like, that passed. Then at night, I wanted to stay. So I, I said... You know what, babe? I'm going to sleep in Keon's room tonight. So uh-huh. let's just let me just stay with him. He said, "Okay." So I went to do the <laughs> and we slept. We had a lovely night. Like I made sure that he slept early, had his did everything right, like a mother is supposed to do. And the next morning, Keon wakes up and he started crying that he wants his tutu because normally she wakes him up. Hugs him. Oh, good morning. How are you? How did you sleep? Okay. Give him his tab before she now prepares his breakfast, give him a bath and all that. So I'm trying to do all that. <laughs> and and he's wailing that he wants. He's not wailing, wailing like, oh, I want my tutu. I want my tutu. I said, ah, ah. Okay. Keon, <laughs> you did not even say, mama, good morning. Did you sleep okay? I'm asking you, did you sleep okay? And I want my tutu, mama. I want my tutu. I said, Go like I told your tutu. Omo ano eba, so you will manage me. I I didn't even know when Ibo. I just the Ibo I could learn. I was just speaking it, speaking it. The boy was just looking at me like, like what did she say? He could tell from my tone mm-hmm. that I was upset, but he could not understand what I was saying. So I'm like, my dad, my dear, you will take me, take me as I am. When I was done. I left to go and get um, his breakfast and all that. Then his father went into, I think the father had the door open. So the father went into the room to go and lie down with him. When I was coming back with his breakfast, he now said, what did he say again? Mama, mama, mama spoke to me. Yeah. So he was trying to tell his father that, that mama that, scolded that, that, him. Yeah, that, that, is, that she scolded him. Yeah, he now looked at me and said, mama. I'm like, yeah. I'm back to normal. Yeah, he does that. Like when he when he throws a tantrum or he gets upset and, and stuff like that, or he's unhappy and, you know, everybody tries to make him feel better or whatever, or if we scold him and tell him to face the wall and all of that. When he calms down, he'll come to you and then with his mother, he'll touch her face. With me, he would hold my hand and I'm like, I get face too now, but it's okay. <laughs> and he'll now be like, I'm back to normal. My mind, I'm like, you better be. Um, mm-hmm. Finish this one. And that was that. Oh my God. Anyway, back to normal. So you give him a hug. So you have to tell him, um, okay, Keon, mama is not upset with you anymore. Don't oh, forget yeah. what you said. You're about to say. Don't forget. This I, guy can't forget. Train has left the do station, Do not bro. forget what you're about to say. So like back to normal, then I'll give him a hug. Then, ah, ah, <laughs> just now, <laughs> he has forgotten. <laughs> Maybe say what you want to say. You, you know, man, you know, I'm, I'm an elderly person. Don't insult me, please, dear. Let's trace your thoughts back. So, are you serious? Yes. Fam. My God. <laughs> serious as you were like, attack, uh-huh. right? When he said he was back to normal. You know how my mind works. Like once, I, my mind keeps moving. Oh my God. Yeah, yeah, it's gone. It's okay. It's okay. Anyway, <laughs> I can remember what I wanted to say. Let me continue talking. So, back to normal. So. Kion has done this thing where if he's upset with you, he's really upset. Maybe he will go and report you to either his either his father or his nanny. Then he will come back and say, um, Mama, when you are still for me vexing, I'm for me vexing. I don't talk to me. You, you upset me. Mama is sad. And he'll be like, Mama, I'll say yes. 
I want you to, uh, I want Keon sorry. Yeah. Like, I want you to tell Keon sorry. I'm like, no, you tell me sorry. You say, no, mama, face the wall. Yeah. So in there. Oh, yeah, that's what I was going to say. Okay. Oh, great. oh my <laughs> goodness. <laughs> Oh my God! <laughs> That's what I was going to talk about. Oh I was going to talk about. Stop, 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 stop. Uh, okay. It's not that bad. Okay. Give yourself. The train yes, will leave the station yes. again. It will say, leave say, the station. Okay, say, good, good, good. So, <laughs> I was going to say, yeah, that you know, I don't know how it happened, but I remember, you know, we talked about this last season where we had an agreement <laughs> about who was going to be the good cop and who was going to be the bad cop, who was going to be the disciplinarian and who was going to be the fun guy, right? We had that agreement even before the baby was born. Now, because, you know, Ioma is very gung-ho. Everybody that knows her knows that she doesn't take nonsense. I'm, I will smack the pretty of you. <laughs> I'm the one who is everybody's guy, you understand? And I'm playful. And I, I'm, I, like, I like babies, kids. Kids are fun. So we agreed. Baby, babies love you. They do. Like, every time we go anywhere, when there's a child there, they're just like, oh my God, fun guy. Anyway. So we agreed that she would do the discipline and I would do the, you know what, mommy was right for doing what she did. You're being naughty, but, but it's okay. Hey, 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 let me finish before the train leaves the station. <laughs> <laughs> so that's how, before we bump it in now, we say, okay, we go. We don't share the work, right? Tell me how we started off and that's the way it was going, right? It was making sense. Everything was going fine. But we also had... Oi. <sighs> then suddenly, it feels like in my head, right, that I went to work one day, and while I was away, Keon's mother, his auntie, and his nanny sat down and had a meeting and decided, you know what, he's too cute. We don't want to have to discipline this boy. Let's make his father the bad guy. So in my absence, when Keon is being naughty, they say, we're going to call Dada for you. Dada, Dada's going to deal with you, Keon. You need to stop it. Dada is coming. You understand? So I just started wondering what was going on because sometimes I'll come back from work. Before, when I come back from work, Dada, you come and jump on me. Then I'll come back from work and then he's just like, hi, Dada. And then continue. When his mother walks in, we come back, let's say we come back together and I walk in first. Hi, Dada. Continues watching his tab or whatever he's doing. When his mom is like, Mama. And I'm like, ah, okay, like, but I'm, I, I play with this boy. I'm super chill. What's going on? My son doesn't love me as much as he loves his mother. Do you do, you do imitations with your voice? That's irrelevant. <laughs> on. Now, it was a few weeks later, I now heard his auntie saying, Kion, don't do that. Kion, don't do that. You're being naughty. I'll tell Dada for you. I was like, sorry? Who is Dada? Like, why are they telling Dada? Like, am I, I'm the bogeyman? I am now, I'm the guy with the, with the, with the stick. Well, you're the one who started to face the wall first. Yes, mm -hmm. fair. Because nobody wanted to do it. I did it. Nigga. Woman, please. <laughs> Listen, so Kion, as every other young person, as with toddlers and babies and children, they will push the limit, they will test you, right? Kion will test you. Kion knows that, okay, I shouldn't do this, but he wants to know how much of it he can do before getting into trouble. So my man is doing whatever it is that he's doing that he shouldn't be doing, and then everybody's just, you know, soft-footing around it. And I'm like, no, now what's going on? Why is every guy face the wall? Right? And then the first time I did this, he wailed and his nanny came and started begging and everything. And my mind, I was like, you people are not helping me here. So I told his nanny, I was like, young lady, the next time I'm trying to discipline this man, I come and tell him that I start begging so that you will face the wall too. So that was joking. And then one day, Kian did so. I told him he faced the wall. He was crying. She came downstairs. She's like, ah, that, that, I said, you can face the wall. So both of them faced the wall. And then it just became funny. And then I let him go. Right? Kion. When you tell him, when you, he wants something, or when there's something going on and he's not happy with you, he'll tell you, my man actually told me, Dada faced the wall. Mm -hmm. Naughty Dada, Dada faced the wall because I refused to give him my iPad. I'm like, wow. <laughs> so the rules have flipped. I am now the bad guy and then she's the fun parent because she makes animated voices with him when she's reading stuff and all of that. I'm now like, ah, it's not fair now. So this is how they used to profile fathers. That is the bad guy. Mommy is the fun person. But, but, okay, I don't know if I told you that there's one time you were not at home. I disciplined him very well. Babe, yes, you, you mentioned it. I did? But then, I told him to face the wall. I yes. spanked his bum bum yes. small. Uh -huh. Yes, he, he actually reported that. He said, Mama hit me. Are you serious? Yes. 
Aww. And then, but That's yeah, so then he cool. told me what happened. And then I'm like, I was like, oh, you know, you shouldn't have done what you did, blah, blah, blah. And then we moved on. But here's the thing. That was the one time, baby. See, the fact that you can recall the exact situation and what led to it and what you did, it just shows how little of it you do. Because I don't have to do it all the time. You're always at home for Dada to do it. Ah! Let me, let me mess up. <laughs> but I'm glad that at least to a degree, we... We have a his, a hang his, his of it. yeah he's 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 well behaved yeah he's well behaved he's well behaved for now he is going to be well behaved forever and ever amen. Awesome. amen because I um a couple of nights ago it told me mama I want to sleep and um let's go to mama's room because I usually put him to bed in my room first before I take him into his own room and in my room he said mama read me a story so I took the book and I was just reading to him and he just slept off so gone are the days where he's very restless to sleep or you have to back I back <laughs> I was going to I, say that I back oh, for him to say I back and walk around so he just slept and I'm like I just looked at him and I just stepped thanking God and praying because God gave me a stable child, an intelligent child, a healthy child. And you know, I'm it's um we as parents, because mm -hmm. I know Ibro is always praying for him too. And sometimes when we are all in bed together, there's me, Keon and Ibro. Ibro, it's Ibro's it will be Ibro's turn to pray. Ibro will pray for him. I just want to say that um parents out there just Speaking your, into your child's life, speak always, into, yes, constantly. always speaking to even your, when you're not there. Wife speaking to your husbands, husband speaking to your mm -hmm, wife. Mm -hmm. It goes. I mean, don't leave it to your wife, oh brothers. <laughs> don't leave it to. It is not her responsibility. You're the head of the family, Baba. You go pray. Yes, you go pray because if if the ship goes down, the the, the captain is 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 responsible. Um, so. That whole, you know, be a prayer, be a prayerful mother, be a prayerful wife. wife. Okay. Let it be a prayerful family. Teach your child how to pray. Yeah. You understand? Um, you know, because now we do the whole, we've always been doing the whole in Jesus' name, and then he has to say amen. amen. So if yeah, if he because nobody we do that with him when it's time for bed. If Kyo does not go to bed and say if, if you like say in Jesus' name six hundred times, uh, he will, Baba not, will say not say amen. Say Jack. But you now tell him, Kyo, say amen. I said, I don't want to sleep. Yes, straight up. <laughs> because he knows that after prayer, he sleep. So I can tell you, I don't, I don't want, want to sleep. sleep. <laughs> <laughs> what? So, so yeah. Pray. Um, pray. Pray for your child. Pray. And do your part. And do your part. Kind of, you go pray, but you would also... So last season, I, we talked about how one of my greatest desires was to be a present and involved father right thankfully even as you know career has gotten a lot more demanding and you know i'm doing other things apart from film and television shout out nolly data um we are incredibly intentional about the time that we spend with kion right so don't let that, because it's easy to make that excuse. It's easy to hold, you know, lean on that as a crutch and be like, ah, Omo, you know, they chase this bar. I'm trying to make a better living for the future for, for me and the family and all of that, all of that. One day you do all of that and then you come home and your child does not even know who you are. Yeah. And that, the thought of that scares the crap out of me. Um, so there's this thing that I want to, I, I'm going to start, I'm going to do on this season of the show, um, of the pod where I'm going to just take a couple of minutes and just speak directly to my co-fathers cool because the world is changing and our roles are evolving as fathers. So I'm going to call it Dear Dad, hashtag Dear Dad. So this is the first one. Dear Dad, if your child, let me start with your sons. If your son goes to his mother for cuddles and comes to you for body slams and WWE rough play, that's fine. But... When your son comes to you for body slams, sneak in a couple of cuddles. It is important to do that because he needs to know that if his mother is not around, if his mother is not around, you can provide comfort. Yeah. You understand? He can rely on you to make him realize that it's not, it's not, you know, it's not, um, it's not impossible to open up or it's not frowned upon to open up to you. 
Because if they go to their mothers for, for cuddles, they will also go to their mother for, for counsel. That's the truth. So when he comes to you to play rough, cuddle him a little. You understand? Just hug your child. Hug your son. Hold him close. Let him hear your heart. Put his head on. Let him hear your heartbeat. I it's just, important. I just, I just remembered something. Um, there's this thing Keon does. He did it when he was younger, but and he still does it till now. He comes back, or we come back, and we make sure we show um, intimacy and mm-hmm, mm-hmm. how <laughs> loving we are, yeah. both of us, in front of him because it's very important for him to know that it's a stable. He's in a stable um, home where his father loves his mother and his mother loves his father, so that he can grow into that environment. And that's that's my family value. So I'm try- we are trying to instill that into him. Keon does this where we, I would either, I'm the one carrying him and I'm like, oh, baby, how are you? How was, how was school today? Did you have fun? We say, mama, you're back, dada. <laughs> 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 then I give him a kiss on his cheek or maybe when his father just comes back and I go to meet his father, I'm carrying him, go to meet his father, then I kiss the father on the lip. Then he, um, he bro will kiss Keon on the cheek, I kiss Keon on the cheek. Kion will look at all of us and put our heads together. And make us kiss again. And make us kiss again. Then when we are done, he will now put our heads together on his cheek yes. at the same time. So that we can both kiss him on the cheek at the same so time. That is so cute. <laughs> I wanted to just share that. Before the train leaves the station. Yes, okay, before the great. train leaves the station. So, hashtag dear dad. <laughs> Moving on to your daughters. If your daughter goes to um, her mama, you know, to get her hair done, and she comes to you, you know, to just hang and just... From time to time, just figure out how to at least do a couple of, you know, braids, braids or hair. knots or, you know, because that way she would know to come to you when she needs to figure something out, when she needs something to be sorted. You understand? So whatever it is that your wife brings to the table when it comes to what, the, what your kids go to them for, do a little bit of that as well. Yeah. Just try and balance it out. So Fathers, that's the... Get yeah, ready to get today. your makeup done. <laughs> Zin! <laughs> With your bia bia. <laughs> your oh daughter God. will put pancake on your beardy beardy. All the best. All, the best. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. So... um, New changes in his body? Oh, man. He's just... It felt like over the summer, he just, summer break, he just shot up like three or four inches. Yeah, like, he grew taller. He grew taller. His uniform. His face is slimmer, slimmer. now. Yeah, baby boy is losing that, that chubby. He's just, he's, well, he's still cute though. Super cute. Super cute. Looks like his daddy. Yeah, we gave him his first haircut. Professional. Yeah, because haircut. wait, wait, don't. YouTube, don't, please. Don't, yeah, you can, you can, it's on, it's on, uh, it's on the channel. I know what you're about to do. You're about to knock the fact that I, I was giving him. You know, no, but maybe you did a fantastic did a great job. job. Yeah, yeah, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not so knocking that out. Basically, folks, I just want to say that I was doing a great job until we gave the professionals. Then I saw the difference. <laughs> oh, my, see haircuts. Come on, my boy was looking sharp. <laughs> I loved it. So yeah, um, he got his first professional haircut. You can see how that went. Um, so now he's he's a lot more used to it now. Now he doesn't make too much of a fuss. He still gets restless after a while. We had a um, first traveling experience with yeah. Keon, which we are going to talk about in another episode. My director is shaking her head like this. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, um, there's just there's just so many things. Let me see what else has changed. Oh, his vocabulary is a lot broader now. Yeah. Um, he can read, he can write. He loves oh, yeah, swimming. He, can, he loves he loves, he loves, he loves to swim. Oh, yeah. Parents, get ready because the, hmm. you know that thing I say when they start school, the sickness, hmm. the illness, not sickness, illness that they will come with. <laughs> Listen. We went through that. At some point, I wanted to look at my wife and say, I told you so because she was the one that was crying a lot because her son was, he, was, he just kept catching colds. Oh, yeah, I didn't stop crying. I thought it was stop. She at cried all point. the time because Keon was crying all the time because he was ill. He had a cold. He got an ear infection. He got a viral infection. He just kept picking up. No, stuff. we talked about the ear infection the last episode. So the one we didn't talk about was when we now noticed that he couldn't. Did we talk about that one? Where so his chest used to get congested. Yeah. His breathing was a bit labored. One. Oh, <laughs> let me give that gist. Oh, wait. Did the one that he had to. No, no, no. Not. I mean, I'm used to he, sucking. Yeah, this one is he's still so used to sucking. Shout out to what they call that thing, nose, nose Frida. Yeah. So you there's this. I am going to give the gist. There's this device. <laughs> there's this device um, for. Sucking, sucking out snot and catar from from the baby's yeah nose. you can get his nose frida and 
Fam, I think is magic. I love it because Ibra doesn't have to put his lip to the boy's nose fam. anymore. So that's how one time. No, so when Kion was a lot smaller, we've said when, that just, we've that just yeah, in and another then episode. You know, yeah. Last some season. of it went down. Yeah. Good grief. Please, uh, let me plug the other season because they have been talking about we have said, you have said, they're not plugging. You can find it on YouTube and yes. you can find it on everywhere you listen to podcasts. Our director has spoken. Yes. Well done, Didi. Doing great. <laughs> so, yeah, please, you can find whatever we say. You can find it on the previous season and episodes on YouTube on Dual Parenting Pod. Okay? So, this gist is, we just noticed that Keon wasn't breathing well. Mm. So, he had congestion. I didn't, I didn't know what it meant. So, he just couldn't, like, he would, <sighs> was labored. I'm, and I freaked out and I told his father, come one morning, me and his nanny were like, you know what, please, we need to take him to the hospital. I can't, I don't like the way he's sounding. Even when he said, he wants to say mama, mama, I'm like. Yeah, and then she, she just burst into tears. So we're in the car and me, the nanny, his father, the driver. So we're driving to the hospital, I had called his doctor and he said, please, we are on our way. So he was in the car and I was holding him and he was just, uh, because I was trying to make him like be lively. So I know he loves numbers. So I was trying to call out numbers to him. I said, okay, let's say one to 10. It was like, he was so weak to talk. Ah, the floodgates opened. And then he's not he- the nanny turned, turned looked at I started crying too. So and myself was, and the driver just looked at each other in the rear view mirror and rolled out. <laughs> like, like, I, I beg, can we just crying. be chill? Let's calm down. I, I held my son and I started praying again. I'm like, Father Lord, you can't give me this boy and come and take him away from me. Jesus God. I had to, to pray for her. You understand? My bikini know they feel fine, but now I got to pray for him, Mama, because uh, she was not she was not doing great at I all. I was not taking it well. And we got to the hospital and they said, Oh, they have to um nebulize. I'm like, What what is yeah. that? So we had to we had to buy we had to buy a nebulizer for the house. That was wait now, they had to I'm like, what is that? I don't know what that is. Before we coerced Keon to agree for them to put that thing. Hmm. It, it was, was war. He That's wailed. the only time he's been on admission. Yeah, so they had to admit him for two nights. <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> Yes, yes, ah. it's true. We even told you, and then you told Mom to pray. It oh was, it was my incredible. Goodness. It was ridiculous, man. Hospital. Keon wanted to wake up in the middle. He woke up in the middle of the night and wanted to stroll yeah. around, around the, the hospital. hospital. I'm like, and he didn't want to do it quietly. He wanted, he wanted to, to be make, talking. And I'm like, people, Keon, this is the hospital. People are sleeping. I'm going to not want to hear. He was restless. <sighs> but you know, we made it through. <laughs> 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 So we went back home and um, I asked the doctor, they told us, well, they gave us everything. They injected him. They did everything. He was better by the third day when we got home. And a week later, the mm. thing was about to come. I'm like, nope, <laughs> nope. I now called my doctor. My doctor and I said, okay, you have to get a nebulizer. I said, is that, can't I, can't I just come to the hospital? And he said, people re- usually, parents usually have it at home. So you just get a nebulizer. I will tell you the, um, the medication you can put inside, saline water and sabutamol. Uh, and sabutamol. Just put it in 2.5 and he just sniffs it. That baby, that, you just made it sound as if, you know, my boy is doing drugs. <laughs> so he's being medicated. Well, he was being medicated. He was not it's like an oxy- oxygen mask. mask yeah. Yeah, so, so the vapor from the sabutamol and the saline water just clears the, like the pathway. It, it breaks down the mucus. Wonders. Mm. It just breaks down the mucus. He's, he's breathing better. Yeah. He, he's running around because... We notice whenever he runs around for a very long time, he starts having the labor breathing. So we got that. So now I'm now a pro. As soon as I don't know, ah, yeah, come here. <laughs> <laughs> so Either I tell him to just calm down. I don't use it all the time. I just mm. say, oh yeah, calm down. No more running. Just, just sit down and just, and I have been told by the doctors that he will outgrow it. Yeah. So yeah, we are praying that he does. He will. So, because I remember that my sister was like that. Oh, she was? Yeah. So she was like that, but she outgrew it. By the time she was about, Five or so, because we, we actually thought she was asthmatic, but mm. it turned out that she wasn't. She just had that, mm. you know, thing. Most kids, a lot of kids, well, not most kids, but quite a number of children. It, they have call that. it bro, bro. No, not bronchitis. It's not, um, bro. Okay. Listen, yeah, the architect I be a big. So I be um, mama, an actor. <laughs> so yeah, um, yeah. Those so, are some of the 
Those are the things that I can remember right now. Okay. Yeah. So um, we have come to the end of this episode. We were, we were just a recap of how our life has been since the last time we updated you guys on yes. what's going on. But as time goes, other fre- uh, other episodes we're going to if we remember something we're going yes, to tell yes, you guys definitely. what's going on. Um, yeah. So thank you, thank you so much for watching. Oh wait, before we go, um. That joke alert! Oh my goodness. Babe? Yes. What do you call it when a clown opens the door for a lady? You want me to answer? No, just as my friend, you will say what's in your hand. What? You call it a nice gesture. 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 When, if you don't find this man's tongue, <laughs> just know that it's me. It's me. So a very naughty thing popped in my head. Oh just my now. goodness! See, I didn't even need to say it. Man. I didn't even say it. You see, you see, I'm proud of you. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. See you guys next episode. Um, don't forget to subscribe. Like and share. Share, please. First of all, I want to say, before, I need to say this. God bless you guys. You guys are superb. You are Awesome. Amazing. The amount of love that season one got just really blew our minds. You guys liked, you shared, you subscribed, you pushed, the, you even brought the conversations to Twitter. Listen, when did you try? So for the new listeners and the, uh, for YouTube, people watching and um, audio listeners, please go on YouTube and watch um, Do Parenting Pod. Um, there's a link on our bio. Um, Ihuama Linda Ijofo on Instagram. Ibrahim Suleiman official. On Instagram, the link is on our bio that will just take you to everywhere. It's on Spotify, oh, it's on you can, iTunes. Wherever you can listen to your yes. podcasts. Audio podcasts everywhere. Um, on Twitter, we are Do Parenting Pod. Mm-hmm. On Instagram, Do Parenting Pod. Facebook, Do Parenting Pod. Pod. So please tell your friends to tell their friends to tell their friends oh, to God, tell no, their no, enemies. No, 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 no,